Good morning. How are you? Um, last slurp. Thank you for um, indulging me. Um, if you are a parent who has a child who's just taken A-levels, you'll be treading on eggshells. If you are a parent who hasn't, you'll be sick to death with me, won't you, with all my clearing and all my A-level results um, information. Um, sorry, but, you know, if you've got a teenager, you will maybe sort of... Uh, you know, sod's law being be, you will maybe wending your way through uh, these choppy waters of A-levels at some stage. Uh, this information, as you know, is always going to be available, so you will be able to look for it. It will be on YouTube as well, um, as and when you need this information. Point is, some people, it's now Tuesday as I broadcast, some people are needing this information right now. Uh, and I only fell upon it through my um, own good fortune uh, and I am speaking from bitter experience. So how do I help you and how do you help your children navigate clearing? Well first things first, uh, you might not need to and if that is the case, hurrah! Um, if you do then all is not lost. But can I just give you some figures, which I was contacted, I, I, I put a post out on Huffington Post, I put um, my blog post out and sort of tweet, tweeted it and Facebooked it, and a number of people have come back to me, but the one that really springs to mind is, is a, um, Lucy Newman from um, the London South Bank University, says that they have recently done surveys about what I was talking about. And do you know what? This, the, the reading, and I might just throw, I'll, I'll, rather than give you all the statistics all in one go, I'm just going to smatter the, them through the uh, public, you know, the broadcast, because this is scary, actually. And, and the lovely thing is, is we can do something about it. 67% of students who were um, this, you know, in this survey, and I think there was about sort of 500 of them who had actually gone through clearing uh, just recently, last year, year before. 67% of the students found clearing stressful. Well, that's quite a lot. That's over two thirds who used it. And in fairness, I'm not bloody surprised because we did and we were sort of prepared not ill prepared, but we could have been a hell of a lot better prepared. So there you are, um, and I'm going to help you. But 67% of the students found that um, clearing was stressful. Do you know what? 54% said that their school or college didn't provide enough information. They, they don't. Most schools and colleges say, oh, well, off you go, and it's all online. And, and it's not funny. It's not funny. It's, it's hard because... When you get the A-level results and they are not quite what they seem or they're not what you expected, not only are you, your head's all over the, sp all over the place, so of course you're going to find something stressful. It, it's, it's a scary time. Gillian, thank you for joining us. Um, it can be a scary time if you don't know what to do. And that's why a plan B is fantastic. Come on, we, we, we do, when we're doing business contracts, we build contingency into the blimmin' contract, into the, well, if you don't, you should, um, you know, uh, into the price of the, the bid that you're doing or whatever, your proposal. There's always that little bit of leeway. And I'm telling you, as a parent, if you have not done, um, if, if you haven't done your homework going in, then don't be surprised that you're going to be like a rabbit in the headlights if if you need clearing, but you know, and, and, and if you do, when? Um, so what can you do? Well, actually you can do so much stuff right now. Um, I, I, there's UCAS, the, the UCAS do a search facility now that you can go into the UCAS site and see all the university spaces that are available now. So you can start looking. So say, for example, your child wants to do media studies or medicine or whatever it is they want to do. And um, you find on that fateful day that they ha on Thursday that they haven't got their results. If you know, oh, well, well, here are all the places. If you know in advance, here are all the places to contact. You're actually hitting the ground running. So what I suggest is you go 
and look at the UK search. There's a whole, I mean, The Guardian did 17 blimmin' pages all about clearing and sort of stuff like that. So go and Google it and go and search. And you can say, right, I want to know in the northwest of England um, what universities do places for philosophy and French. And you will come up with those places that are available. So I would personally, I would ask your child now, and don't get sort of too maudlin because they'll be, you know, but they will be sitting there bricking it anyway. So you may as well have the conversation. If you don't get the grades that you want, what sort of things would you like to do if you had, um, uh, uh, you know, if you, if you had a, a carte blanche? Because you'd be surprised. Some kids go, do you know what? I don't really want to go to university. Some kids, there are fantastic apprenticeship schemes. Deloitte's, um, uh, you know, I've got everyone, all the big names are running apprenticeship schemes where you work and learn at the same time. How cool is that? That might suit your child better. Your child might do sod this. I've had enough. I want to go on a gap year. I mean, or, or whatever. But maybe if they are given the opportunity to make a choice today, it might just be, I mean, Alice, my darling daughter, said the night before the exam results, came, that her A-levels came out, I hope you don't mind, but I don't want to go to my uni. I went, right, what do you want to do then? And she went, I, I want to take a year off and I want to do something totally different. And this was just, thankfully, you know, just before the exam results came out. So to her, suddenly all the pressure had changed. And we had this conversation. So, you know, and, and actually when you know, when you know what, you sh what what your new goal is you okay if your child gets the grades and they're thrilled and they're going to the university of choice go and crack open the bubbly how wonderful is that but have these conversations now so when the results come out on thursday morning you're not going holy crap do you know what i mean so have that conversation now if if you're in a different situation what would you like to do? Would you still like to go to further education? Would you like to reset? Would you like to go on a gap year? Would you like to go straight into work? You know, because having this conversation, if those grades are a surprise and aren't what they want, or if the grades aren't a surprise and they're still not what they need, you, you, you have had that conversation. You're not wasting time on the day going, oh my God, like a headless chicken, okay? We did sort of the headless chicken bit, and, and I only gave, I said to you, of time here, you cannot go and have a meltdown for three hours. You, I give you five minutes, which is, okay, fair enough, he did, and, you know, but it's not enough time. So think what your plan B is. Ask your child, carte blanche, what would you like to do? Because here's a statistic. Where are we? Yeah, 59% felt that on the day when they were on the phone to clear university via clearing that means within like less than five minutes they had decided what their course was and what university was and they had said yes please i'll take that whoa within five minutes i would have thought snap decision you you know you you connect the dots that was 59 percent and just think of all the groundwork that they had put in before that oh shall i go here and all the investigating so rather than allow them to make a snap decision, help them now, start out that plan B, say to them, listen, we live in Liverpool, maybe you want to go and study in Scotland, or maybe you want to go and study in Wales, or maybe you want to go and study close to Uncle Jim in Southampton, you know, give them those opportunities, maybe you just don't want to study at all, but by having this conversation today, Tuesday and Wednesday, you take out all that grief, Oh my God, how cool is that? And then you start searching and then you use the UCAS search engines and you find out A, what location, B, what, what course and, and, and what university. And, and, and that gives you so much more information so that when you pick up the phone looking for a clearing place, you are forewarned with information that you need. The best thing to do, go onto the websites, go onto the, because through UCAS, it gives you, you sort of, you know, put your search in, and UCAS then sort of goes, oh, churns out an alphabetical list. Lynn, thank you for joining us. I'm explaining clearing here. It, 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 it produces um, an alphabetical list of Aberystwyth and Aberdeen and, and sort of, I don't know, Coventry, you know, come on, you, you catch my drift. And what you then do is you can 
can click on each university. You can look at their Facebook page. You can look at their website. Um, and you can look at the course details. And you can say, oh, hang on a minute. That might suit me better. That might suit them better. And print this information out. And I know, get printer ink. I mean, you know, do it now. You've got two days. You've still got the luxury of two days to go and do something about this. So that you have all this information. And do you know what? If you don't use this information, if suddenly, oh my God, I got into my university of choice, then hurrah, throw all this stuff away. You've wasted. No, you haven't. You have spent the last two days as creating a safety blanket. And if you don't need it, hurrah. And if you do, hurrah again. Yeah? Because... I said that 59% made a snap decision. A third, over a third, decided on the university and the course in under an hour. And do you remember back at Christmas when you were spending days on, oh, I don't know if I want Liverpool or Manchester. They, they decide this at the flip of a coin, literally. So if you do this information now, at least you can start and go, OK, well, if I'm not going to go there, where shall I go? And do I like the look of it? And, oh, no, the weather looks horrible there. Or, oh, my God, they've got a great, I don't know, cricket club or rounders club or, I don't know, chocolate eating club. Whatever it is that floats your boat. But you can do your homework now. OK, it can be different. As I said, Alice decided the night before, I don't really want to do what I thought I wanted to do. And that's all right, because now she's doing what she loves. And Jack, Jack was the one that went through clearing. And yes, everything imploded for a while, but we were prepared. We had reams and reams of paper. We had prioritised the universities that he wanted. He thought, right, OK, yeah, well, or actually I did it because he was asleep in bed. This all happened for me, for us. Oh, God, midnight before the results came out. So I just sort of thought, and he sort of, he, he, he sort of wanted, yeah, still wanted to do X, Y and Z. And so I prioritised because I knew what he wanted to do and where he wanted to go. Yeah. So how cool is that? So... Over two thirds decide the university with under right, okay with under two hours. Come on, give your child the best chance they can. So what 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 have I said so far? Now you have the luxury of time. Go and do those university searches or that UCAS search. Find out the courses that are available still that are in clearing that will be offered once the exam results come out, or more to the point, will be offered once the results come. You know, once the UCAS opens its doors on Thursday. Print it all out. Prioritize it. Have all the information you need. Now, what information are you going to need? You're going to need all the information about the course you're interested in, course code, university code university phone numbers because it is a numbers game it is you phoning da, 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 da. you are you will be 35th in the queue 75th in the queue i don't know it, it just goes on and it is a numbers game because everyone is being funneled through and pushed through a tiny hole which is called clearing and if you have that information available bang you are well ahead of the game so print it all off and prioritize it okay the night before, make sure your phones are charged because it's the phones that are, that, that are going to be, that, that's where the, you know, it's all done. So make sure your phones are charged and make sure you've got friends and family to help. We had me, Mike, Jack and Alice. What happens, they want to speak to the student when you finally get through. But there's nothing saying that there's someone sitting there dialing the numbers saying this is Liverpool University or, you know, this is Leicester or this is whoever. And by the way, and, and, and because... Once you get through, it's going to be like a little interview. Now, what you need is the very first thing you do when you log on in the morning, you go onto your UCAS ID and in the top, I don't know which way we're back to front in these cameras, but the top, top left-hand corner, you go and look at my status. And my status will tell you either, congratulations, you have your university of choice or, you know, it's a bit your first or your second offer. Well done, hurrah. Log off and go and have a lovely time. Otherwise, you will have, here is your clearing ID. Your clearing ID is the number that needs to be ingrained in stone because, or written all over the place, because that is the number that the universities will say, hello, you are through to Exeter University, please can I have your clearing ID? Because what then they can see is, they see everything on the computer. They see your name, what you've studied, your A-level results, your personal statement, and then they will start interviewing you. Not to catch you out, 
Not at all, because basically they need to fill those spaces as much as you jolly well want one. So it's don't feel don't feel as though this is is a, a failure in any way. This is just a deviation. This is just a bump in the road. And if you are doing this with a clear head, then you've got the best chance of getting what you really need. So calmly and confidently tell those people what you've got to offer because it hasn't changed. You're still the same person. OK, so parents, just just remember, not, none of parents I implore you, none of us. Oh, you should have revised hard. Oh, you're on your own. No, 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 no. The, the, the time's not right for that. On Thursday, they, your child needs to know that you've got their back. And by doing all this stuff now, they'll know that you have. And and having a plan B, how wonderful having a plan B and not needing to use it. That's cool. But if you do need to use it, then how much better because you are forewarned, you are forearmed, you have all the information available, you know the right people to call immediately rather than getting the results and going, oh crap, what do we do now? Because you want to be ahead of the game. You want to be that early bird that catches the worm. Yeah? So you've got your tracking ID and you are now going to start phoning all those numbers that you had got previously, to, that, that you, you, um, you know, sort of sourced the today and tomorrow, if that makes sense. I'm talking retrospectively now. So phone them up and tell them. And, and what then happens is if you meet their criteria, they'll go, yeah, okay. And don't forget, say for argument's sake, that you know, you might have missed by one grade. You might have bombed. It, you know, it's immaterial, really, because these universities will probably not be asking for the same grades now they might and if that's the case that's you know that's fine but they they as i said they are wanting to fill their spaces so they might be sort of you know they they, they might be open to sort of a, a little bit of leeway here so do give them a buzz and and sort of say yeah i i've now got this what can you do and have a chat to them and and sell yourself and tell them what you've got to offer and that you know all, all the other extra bits that you've done because this is your chance this is actually the chance that you didn't get when applying the first time unless you're doing sort of medicine or through, went through interviews but invariably it was just based on personal statement now it's the tone of your voice it's your passion so if you're sitting there sobbing down the phone they're not really very interested they want to speak to someone that's got it together and goes yeah i want to come to your place because i've looked it up because i've got this information because i like the fact that you are a for all campus university you know all these things and i go okay this 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 person's pulled together they, yeah we could do with them so clearing is not a failure clearing is an opportunity to follow a different path go in a different direction yeah so don't get too despondent if you want to cry into your beer do that later but you will not be doing it on my watch on a level day you will be doing it later on once you've got your place or later on when you've decided no actually this is the best course of action for me OK, so log on early, get all your phones, because I'll tell you what, when, when, when Jack was doing this, and it was a few years ago now, he has since graduated. I am just telling you that. So he, 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 is a, he, he did brilliantly and, and had a two minute meltdown and came back, got a place. I think UCAS, when he was doing it, said that their phone lines opened at 8.30 or something. But... They didn't. They opened early without telling anyone. So Jack was able to get in and by by ten past eight that morning he had a place. He knew exactly where he was going because we had all that information there. We he he was ahead of the game. And you can be too. You can do all your homework now rather than panic on, on Thursday and go, oh my god, what the hell are we going to do? Do you know what? 81% of students said that a 24-hour helpline would have been useful. Some universities do them. Um, I, I was looking on Twitter. Um, just, just do hashtag clearing or something like that. Because Twitter and Google it if you like as well, do have um, clearing advice lines now. They didn't when you know when, when we were doing it. But I think I, I found a hashtag for Nottingham Trent clearing and 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 you know so that the, they are they have and actually what is it so i think um someone was saying that um you can you can start negotiating a place now if you like but the point is you're in a you might be in a situation where they go no nah, you're all right thanks because you probably shouldn't know your grades just yet but listen do whatever you can be ahead of the game that's what i say 
Um, yeah, 69% said that clearing should be easier. Well, we know that. That's why I'm bloody well trying to help you here. So that's, you know. But the point is, is that over a third decided their future w w in an hour. 59% made a snap decision on the day. And they're probably, a lot of them are really happy and bloody relieved that they got something. But you don't have to be put on the spot. The point is, another thing I just need to say before I close is... You will get offers. Come on, you you got to you got to look at it that way. You and and you don't necessarily have to make your decision. You don't necessarily have to make that snap decision there and then. Ask the person on the other end of the line how much time am I allowed before I make this decision? They might still say, well. Come back to us at lunchtime. Or they might, I mean, I think a couple of them that Jack was told, oh, you can come back to us by nine o'clock the next day. Whoa. So you don't, you know, you might have two or three options that you can then think about. So go back to the websites, go back to the Facebook pages, go back and have a look and sort of, you know, so you don't have to. People sort of think because there's this scarce, scarcity mentality that you have to make your decision there and then. Not necessarily. But ask that question. Thank you so much for that offer. What is the time frame that I need to respond in? Okay? Ask them also for the Hall of Residence and the, the accommodation line number. Um, because you can get in the queue then. We, we, we did that. We got into the queue. Even, I think, um, before, oh no, this was with Alice. Um, you know, we, we, we got it. We, we jumped the gun a bit by phoning the university help uh, accommodation line before the offer had been sent through officially. And they seem fairly relaxed about it. Do you know what I mean? Um, so because they're always going to fill accommodation spaces and they can be like hen's teeth. So go look at the accommodation places as well because some you know some some of you might want to go on site some of you might not want to some of you might want to live in house some of you you know th there are so many options but do, don't close those doors act quickly the sooner you act the faster you are able to make informed decisions god i'm exhausted let me take a slap let me just check what i can say here I think I've said all I need to say. I wish you luck. Um, it's, you know, first of all, go to the UCAS search, print it all out, prioritise it all out, um, have all the numbers available, have all your facts and figures available, GCSE results and all your codes and IDs and everything, that they get, email addresses that they're going to ask you for. Charge your phones up the night before, get a good night's sleep and start early. Start early, get onto UCAS. If you need your clearing number, then deal with all that stuff that you've just printed off. And if you don't need your clearing number, hurrah. But I'll tell you what, if you do need your clearing number and you've done all your homework and you've got your plan B, this journey will be so much quicker. It will be much easier to make your informed decisions. Can you, oh yeah, I quite liked, I quite liked, um, you know, wherever it was, Newcastle, when I looked at it on Tuesday. Yeah, we'll say yes to that one. And, and then there's less pressure. So when you go out that night, you can jolly well celebrate. OK, it's not the same university that you thought you were going to a week ago. But I tell you what, you're still on your way. And if you choose not to go to university at all, that's cool. We don't all have to. We all have different ways of studying. We all have different ways of learning. And I tell you what, one year to sort of maybe... I don't know, retake or do a gap year. What's one year 